Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Angel and today we're filming my favorite video to film every single month, which is picking my TBR using my TBR prompt jar. You guys don't already know this video from the lovely Miss Rachel Catherine. Pretty much a bunch of prompts in this jar that match the um, genre, cover, something about the author, something about what's like the, a name in the title, numbers in the title, whatever it is. Sorry, there's like this like random noise keeps going off in my house. I have no idea what it is and it's really making me mad. I have no Pretty much, I think we're gonna pick eight prompts for July. I have a couple books on my shelf here. I'm actually mad because I'm getting a couple more book of the month books coming up and I did just make a book outlet order of like six or seven books I'm really excited about, but they're not gonna make it in time for this video. So this will be maybe August reads, but we're gonna pick eight of ones here on the shelf and get into it. As always, if I have the next book in the series, I am just gonna pick the book off and then replace it with one of these just so I have a good amount of books on the card at all times. To get right into it. Okay, pick number one. I want really good books this month, guys. Giving an author a second chance. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of any author I didn't enjoy. What is that sound? Okay, you know who I'm gonna go with? I'm gonna go with No, This Is True by Lisa Jewell. And not because I did not enjoy my first book by her, because I'm trying to think what the first book or what's the name of it? I forget what the name of it is. I'll put it in somewhere when I remember it. Um, but pretty much, it wasn't like it was bad. It just left me with such an icky feeling inside that like I put it down and I was like, I have not picked another book up by her yet since then because like I physically can't, you know? So for a second chance, we're gonna do Lisa Jewel, None of This Is True. I'm so sorry, I took a break to go investigate that noise. I still couldn't find it, but I closed the door to my sister's room and I think it's going from in there. So I'm hoping that helps. Here's hoping. All right, friends, pick number two. Let's see. Orange on the cover. I love ones where it's colors. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I'm already super excited. This is a book I just got. Um, pretty much, I have no idea what this book is about, <laughs> if I'm 100% honest. Um, I got influence from TikTok. And I think it was described as kind of like a historical romanticy almost. And I was like, I'm in. Um, pretty much says The Wolf Den is the first in a trilogy of novels with the lives of women in ancient Pompeii. And sign me up, because I'm here for that. So I think this is going to be it. So I don't think I have any other ones that really have orange. Mother of Death and Dawn has a little bit. Yeah, but really, this is it. So I'm very happy with that choice. This literally just came in from Amazon like two days ago, and I've been so excited to pick it up. So we're going to do The Wolf Den by Elodie. Is it Elodie Harper? For orange on the cover. Let's pick number three. Let's see. A three-word title. Okay. Um... I don't think I have any yet. Pineapple Street. Okay, so what's funny is the only one that has three words, if you even count it, is Leather and Lark. Even though there's an and symbol here, we all know it's and the word. So Leather and Lark, I think, is the only three word title I have in my entire TBR. Everything else is two words or more than four. Also, like, no hate, but Amazon has been really slacking lately on, like, not bringing me damaged books. Like, I don't know how else to put it. And this book came, and it's not, like, a big <laughs> damage, but it is. Like, look at the bottom of that. It's, like, all crinkled and knurpled and nasty looking. And I kind of want to, kind of want to get a new one. Like, be like, hey, send me a new one. But I also feel like that's, like, really, I feel like it's, like, that's really dramatic for a little thing like that. But at the same time, no, it's not. Like, I paid good money for this. It's all ripped up, you know? So anyways, the through, through title is Leather and Lark. This is the second book after Butcher and Blackbird. Number four, I feel like I'm like flying through these. I kind of need to slow down a little bit almost. I'm kind of scared. Let's see. Okay, a historical fiction. Okay, so right away, I think the only like options I have here is Kristen Hanna. I'm pretty sure it's one of my enemies. It's not historical fiction, right? No, modern day Manhattan. That would not be historical. Anyways, <laughs> mind my business. Distant Shores. Nope. I'm really looking, guys. I don't think I, any of these are. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go with Firefly Lane. I have no idea this one is about, to be honest. I think it's about, yeah, this is one where it's like her story about friendship. And I'm really excited. Sarah Crowley just read this and like rated it super duper high and said it was like a really important book. What does this ever say? It was like, a book for women and like women should read this book i'm pretty sure what she said so i'm excited to get into this i got from valley village for five dollars and 49 cents so go me but we're gonna go with firefly lane for a historical fiction even though i'm pretty sure it's a past present timeline and i have the wolf den on and that's like a historical fiction so i'm reading something at least but pick five is a freebie i love when i get this one okay okay um i want to read 
I'm always afraid that I'm gonna pick something for my freebie and then the next prompt is gonna work for it. You know, it's always really terrifying. But I'm gonna be honest, right now I'm thinking I would love to read Vengeful. I would love to read Love and Written or One for My Enemy. Reprints Rachel Price. I love to read that. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I've been loving them so much lately. I'm going to do the next Magnolia Parks book because I should have our Daisy Hates and I loved it. And I want to see where we left off in the cliffhanger from the first book. So I'm going to go with Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home. And we're going to go ahead and put the next Daisy Hates book on there as well. So we have, you know, good amount of titles on here. Switch that up. That last shelf is just absolutely concaving. It's fine. Okay, we have five picked. Number six is red on the cover. Okay, we're going to get some colors. <laughs> do I have red? Okay, so red writing. Does that count? Yes, I think so. Um, another red is Mother of Death and Dawn. She's wearing a red dress. I do want to read that series of date when Krista Broadbent releases her next duology coming out in November. Or Vengeful could also be a good choice for that one. I don't have any fantasy on here yet, so I think I do. I guess like the Wolf Den is kind of like a fantasy from what I understand. But hmm, both these are fantasy, so I can't really go wrong. But I think I do want to finish off a duology and kind of like get it checked off. These cards are falling apart, my god. Anyways, so for on the cover, we're gonna go with Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Villains duology. Uh, Vicious was the first book, and I really, really enjoyed that. I think it like a 4.25, I'm pretty sure. So next up. We have two more picks. Let's see, pick seven. It's a Kindle Unlimited read. Okay, this worked out really perfectly because then I can either do, for Kindle Unlimited, I can do Thrive, read the next book in the Addicted series. I can do Love and Written, or I can do Mother of Death and Dawn. I think I kind of want to keep following the vibe of finishing series in the middle of. So I think I'm going to do Mother of Death and Dawn just so I have that series out of the way. These books are textbooks. They're huge. And I just kind of want to get it off, not off my shelf, but like off my TBR car. I'm probably going to read it most of my Kindle anyways, but go with this chonker and get her done and get her read. Okay, friends. Last pick. I'm really nervous and excited. I'm not sure, like, what other ones should I love to pick this month? I would love to pick one for my enemy. I would love to read A Thrive, A Reappearance of Rachel Price. I would love to read this month. Of course, all these I want to read really badly. Um, I'm so very torn. Hellbent. Ninth was a five star, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for or if I want to finish that duology or if I want to like, keep hearing it a little bit more. I don't really know. Okay, but pick eight. I'm really nervous. No, I'm nervous. A one word title. I had one, didn't I? Okay, perfect. So, Distant Shores, Night Road, Fly Away. The only one word title I have is Thrive. So, that worked pretty well. I think the sixth book, sixth, I think. In the Addicted series, um, I love this one. I actually forget whose like POV this is from. Um, I just went through a Daisy and Connor. I just went through a Rose and Connor and a Daisy and Reich POV. I'm not sure if this is back to Lily and Lowe or what this one is, or if it's like all the POVs, I forget. But I'm very excited to get into this. I've been loving this series so far. Obviously, the writing is not magnificent, but it's kind of just like a fun time. You kind of go along and you have some fun with it. It's not that matters for this to be our choosing anyways, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the next book in that series on the card so it's there. Here, and those are the eight books that we picked. I'm gonna go over them again really quickly, you guys, just rapid fire through them. First off, for giving an author a second chance, I chose None This Is True by Lisa Jewell. For a three word title, I chose Leather and Lark. So sorry if the angle just changed. Um, for Orange in the Cover, we did The Wolf Den. Historical fiction, we did Firefly Lane, even though it might be past the present timeline. Mind your business. We're not 100% sure yet. We're gonna find out. For a freebie, I chose Magnolia Parks. For a Kindle limited read, we went with Mother of Death and Dawn, the last book in the War of Lost Hearts trilogy. For Red on the Cover, we went with Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, the second book in the Villains duology. And for a one-word title, we chose Thrive, which is, I think, the sixth book in the Addicted series by Kristen Becker Ritchie. All right, friends, I am so excited. This looks like an absolutely fabulous month. I think we have a really good range of books in here that I'm really, really excited about. If you guys enjoyed this video, please forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have read any of these books, have any thoughts on them, let me know. If you have any video ideas you'd like to see with these books, also let me know that as well in the comments. But as always, I'm also on TikTok, Angels Book Corner, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!